All right. Uh, let's see. Listener John brings us a question about uh, about ports and such. So I have two major questions. Are you aware? Uh, how can you help me understand the ports and the cables? And can you recommend a one terabyte SSD suitable for a desktop? Yeah. OK, so let's start with um, with with your devices. USB. uh has letters and numbers after it. The letters describe the shape of either the port or the, the connector on the cable. So the, the, the shape of the connector is what the letters describe. So USB C is that connector. USB A is different connector. USB B mini USB. Well, it's not a letter, but it, it sort of is actually, there's a letter after it. It's usually micro USB B I think, but, um, but the letters describe the shape of the cable. The numbers describe the capabilities. So your new iMac has uh, USB-C ports, and it either has two or four of them. Um, I don't know which model you're getting. If it only has two, then those two USB-C ports are both USB and Thunderbolt ports, and it's fair to call them USB 4 slash Thunderbolt 4 ports. In terms of a drive, you can certainly get a bus power or a, a, you know, wall powered drive, but with SSDs, generally speaking, you're going to do fairly well with the portable drives too. And there's some benefits to this. Um, one that I really like is OWC's Envoy Pro FX, because that is both Thunderbolt and USB, right? So that way, no matter what you connect it to, it will be able to connect to that drive. Some Thunderbolt drives, of course, are just Thunderbolt and nothing else. And if you try to connect them to a USB computer, it won't be able to read them. Uh, so that's that's a good one. And then if you want just a USB drive, I really like the Samsung T7s. Those are nice, simple drives. Uh, they work fairly well. So that's what I'd go with. 